Whilst I'm here, I'd like to show to you the the little wormery system that I've made. And basically, what we have here is half of the thousand liter IBC white tank, the caged one. So it's half was a cloth. Uh, so it's about gravel stones, uh, four inches. Then a cloth. It's slightly placed at an angle, so all the liquid can drain out. Jeff Lawton suggests to put. Um, uh, like a drain X uh, pipe, perforated pipe, all the way to the bottom so the worms get a bit of air. But I found that's not necessary. Uh, my neighbor's grass clippings are going here. Um, cardboard eggs, perf perfect. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I just threw it in here, but you, you know, obviously you'll dig it in. But let me show you the magic that happens with the worms. So, obviously, no citrus, no onion, no meat, no fish. Uh, yeah, no oily, salty foods like that. But Done fast. I, I'll show you how it works. You just basically all the scraps uh, go in here, except onion and you know meat, fish, and uh, um, citrus, and those other things go somewhere else. I'll show you. So yeah, really good soil. Tons of worms. Tons, tons of worms. Uh, and they're just eating compost and they're shitting out <laughs> soil. That's really what they do. They, they eat grass clippings. You just can feed them grass clippings. They eat grass clippings and they shit out most amazing uh, soil that doesn't smell. And the, the, the grass, the, the lawn from my neighbor, makes it into a natural filter that there is no smell as you can see my lounge is right here the window is right here and this compost pile is right here. i mean it's not a compost pile it's a worm bath and because of the grass there is no smell at all here is a little a space to get the worm the worm tea that comes up from the worm bath which you can put on any plants. Basically got some worm casting here. Yeah. From the worms. And then the little mesh I had there for the rats. They just keep on attacking and eating stuff out of the compost. So I would make a little cage, like a little lid here with that mesh to stop the rats from getting access. Okay, so we're gonna do an interesting project here. This morning I woke up, I looked out of the window, my dogs are lying on my new soft bed. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna fight them. That's where they wanna lie. So we decided that we're going to have um, an earthworm. I originally was gonna get a bath, but you know, I've got this secondhand container, so I might as well use it. So basically gonna have a, a tank that's gonna be cut and uh, we're going to have um, a, a wooden plank over it and then I'm going to put a blanket on top. You open it, there's earthworms and kitchen waste with some grass clippings that are covered, no flies, no smell. And then the earthworm tea can drain out through this guy. And um, yeah, and then we've got earthworm tea that we can irrigate right here, these beds and sprinkle it. And yeah, so I'll keep you posted how it goes and this is just the start. So we're going to chop the drum, we already dug the hole. Um, we're gonna just chop the drum like at about this height and um, we are gonna use the steel cage so that can support the weight of the dogs without squashing the soft plastic drum um, yeah and I'll keep you posted so right now we're gonna hook that extension okay Damien let's take the drum out okay all right so the height the height is uh, just Right, stomper. Where's your stomper? So um, the height I want to get us as close as possible to the wall. So that's gonna be just gonna quickly measure. I mean, there we go. So the one way to get in here is to drill a hole, and the other way would be um, to just cut in. So I think I'm gonna do just that.
check it out. Yeah. Let me just check if the camera can see that for all our lovely viewers. Yeah, it's all perfect. So, yeah, uh, once again, the rule measures seven times. So, if we would have put this together first, we would have seen that that hole is in the wrong place. So, please don't be silly and don't make this mistake. Get your thing, mark your thing, and then do your thing. Don't do your thing and then bring. Um, the container because it's not it's just not gonna work. So the next step is you're gonna dig this little trench through under And if you've got this plan originally, which is always good to plan in advance in advance But if you do you could dig that before you put the bag which would be much quicker way way quicker But anyway, then I was an afterthought so Yeah, the next thing we're gonna put the gravel a little bit of gravel some shade cloth on top so we don't have the earthworm tea in the soil. The earthworm tea must go through into the gravel and out. We're going to have the drum slightly at an angle. So it'll go drain out here. And uh, shade, gravel, shade cloth. And then uh, all the kitchen waste with the earthworms and the grass clippings is going to go on top. Okay, so we're doing a test here with our uh, earthworm bath compartment slash space for dogs. So what I want to see is, I want to see water go down. So my earthworm tea gets, um, gets out. Let's just have a look then. Yeah, it's working. There we go. Perfect. So, Great, so this is phase one. Test for water before you put everything else. Now. Okay, David. So now the next phase is to do, yeah, you can take. The next, uh, the next phase you can do is to put gravel and, uh, and then shade cloth to separate so the earthworms don't carry the goodness into the gravel because we want the gravel to stay you know so it can take water away and nothing sits because if stuff sits it will uh, it will you know back backlog and smell and you know so yeah I can see the water slowly coming out so that's perfect yeah that's great so we'll just carry on with that and then we'll have the bucket standing here in this hole and then the, uh, the earthworm tea will drain out there okay so we have our contraption ready uh, a dog bed and which <laughs> will be on top and the uh, earthworm uh, composter so yeah just putting a bit of um, old flooring pieces so it doesn't implode when we top up with soil and uh, we're gonna make it nice and uh, you won't even know it's there because there'll be a dog bed and underneath there is a whole thing so you know because the square meter is just quite pricey in the city you gotta double up things and so they have to serve multiple purpose uh, multiple things have to well yeah multiple purposes so a dog bed and a compost all in one okay so we were ready with our contraption we put five centimeters of gravel and now we're just using some off cuts of bottom cloth which allows water through um, yeah that's it and then um, we've checked our drainage works our pipe works everything works so now we just want um, we're gonna bring a bit of uh, earthworm compost with, with earthworms in them and then I'm gonna get from my other eco food growing machine some more like dense worms chuck them in here and um, then we're gonna start putting our kitchen waste with grass clippings on top we're gonna have a lid and but the grass clippings and a bit of soil will keep the flies and the smell away it acts as a biological natural filter and the, the pipe is here for earthworm tea and then yeah so it's all set oh and i wanted to show you the red worms versus white worms okay so let me show you quickly how composting works okay this is incorrect sorry i need to explain to my family so um we've got the red worms that's basically everything to do with kitchen scraps yeah um, no citrus no onion no meat no fish citrus and onion um, and fish things and egg things like rotten eggs all go in here and here we have white worms 
maggots. Yeah, and that gets basically dug a hole in the garden uh, with dog poo and that gets covered in there and you just place a lid and when that thing is full you cover it with soil and that turns into amazing compost. Eggs get pushed down, crushed with a brick and that can be spread for roses and other beautiful things to add calcium. So that's the stuff that goes to our worm bath. That's the stuff that goes into the garden with dog poo. And that's the stuff that gets crushed and adds calcium into the garden. So that's recycling, really easy, no smell. Another thing I just want to show you is any liquid, you, you're rinsing out a teapot, you're rinsing out a flask, as long as it doesn't have milk, like a little bit is fine, but it's not like a liter of milk, you know? But any liquid, you throw into your compost pile as well, there it is. So this is going to give them enough juices um, to just be moist and happy, and that's why you have drainage at the bottom, so they don't soak in their own water. Um, yeah, very important. So any liquids that you're rinsing out, put them into the compost, rinse and just throw in and it's perfect. And it's no extra water required, it's just the stuff you're already throwing away. That's simple, to create all that abundance. In the meanwhile, <laughs> I'm going to go find some more mango pips so I can have a million worms. Uh, or, or cardboard, very good. Uh, newspaper, they just lay they just lay thousands of eggs in that carbonaceous soft fluffy pulpy texture they love it